Hi everyone! In today's video, uh, while I'm sketching, I'm gonna talk about some updates about being burned out, which is something that happens a lot to me and to other artists I talk to. Uh, my new projects, next videos, uh, the Our Planet Week book, and of course a bit about my sketchbook. So why I decided to give more importance to my sketchbook? Um, and the reason is that, as you may know, I'm a digital illustrator, um, but I feel like keeping a sketchbook, experimenting, um, using different media and switching to traditional drawing and painting um, helped me a lot with art blocks, boosting creativity, and it simply relaxes me a lot. I'm working on some exciting client work uh, right now as well and I'm gonna be sharing it with you all soon on Instagram, I hope. So stay tuned because it's really cool. And today I just feel like drawing some different animals and I'm using a colored pencil. I drew some animals for and during our planet week. Um, it's been an incredible time for me and I'm so impressed by how many artists joined us. Um, we gathered over 7k entries and different interpretations to the prompts, which is just an incredible achievement. We have already started to select our favorite illustrations to be included in the book and I will be contacting personally all the chosen artists uh, very very soon. We are also in touch with a printing house that will print the books on recycled paper, which is just what we wanted. Also, a cool thing is that we will have a quick challenge for Earth Day, which we will be announcing on our Instagram accounts and on the official Our Planned Week account. So I started by drawing a tiger, just a small sketch, and now I want to draw an otter. Um, some of those animals will appear in my own illustrator book I'm working on right now. Um, so it's just nice to practice drawing them. So let's talk a bit about burnout. Um, it's something that I started to feel uh, more and more at the end of last year, um, shortly after I started this YouTube channel. Um, this, by the way, is my 19th video here. Um, I started this channel back in November and since then been uploading one video every week. At the same time, uh, I've been working a lot with clients, I've been really active on Instagram, um, launching my Patreon and more. And when talking with you guys and the illustration community, I couldn't help noticing that it's not only me that is feeling burned out, and uh, many of us are in the same spot, where we work an insane amount of hours, and in this market that is extremely competitive. Let me know below if this happened to you as well, this, um, this feeling of being burned out. Um, in my case, it's been incredibly challenging to keep up, uh, but I'm working on changing this perspective of what I do. For example, I used to get really stressed every time I worked on an illustration or a challenge and Instagram was deciding how worthy my illustration was um, in order to be shown to others and I was getting frustrated because of that. Then my husband, that was kind of in the same situation with his work, um, told me about this book he was reading by Mark Manson called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F*** and we talked a lot about spreading ourselves too thin and not focusing on the things that actually matter. If you ask me if I will keep on doing all the stuff that I do, uh, the answer is yes, but I'm trying to find a way to 
organize my life and projects by focusing more on what I want to do and not so much on the things I cannot control. Um, my advice to everyone in a situation like this would be to take a step back, um, stop whatever you are doing that makes you feel bad and try to find the reason why you started doing what you do in the first place. My perception is that um, this is the key, not losing track or getting distracted by those external things. This is just my take on this, I know it affects everyone differently. Now going back to the sketches, um, I recently have been watching a lot of <laughs> Red Panda videos uh, because I love how they sleep, rolled like buns um, and it reminds me a lot of my dog. For all those small sketches I'm using the same navy blue colored pencil. Um, funny story, uh, my parents noticed really early that I was drawing more than kids usually do and um, so every chance there was my mom was buying me colored pencils um, it was also this kind of safe gift for me that everyone knew I would enjoy so whenever someone didn't know exactly what to get me um, they would just go for colored pencils and that's exactly the reason why I have so many of them um, I think I haven't even got any of them myself, they just have been in my collection since forever and I love using them to sketch. I know I always say this, but I'm honestly very interested in knowing your thoughts, especially knowing what kind of videos you enjoy most, um, you're most interested in or which, one, which ones help you the most. So please leave me a comment below. You can also leave me a link to some videos that you find interesting. I would love to see those as well. Some of you may also know that in February I started my Patreon account and um, that's another place where I've been putting exclusive content. I am extremely grateful to all my patrons uh, we have a very intimate group over there and I just wanted to say that I really appreciate your presence there. Um, my most recent idea for Patreon is to share content about um, the business side of illustration. So all about client work, pricing, contracts, um, all of that based on my own experience and on what I've learned. Precisely the kind of content that I've been looking for myself everywhere when I started out. At first, my idea was to share the most of it here um, on YouTube also, but it seems like not many of you are focused on business side of illustration, which is totally fine. And it just looks like you enjoy more illustration related topics. Um, this of course doesn't mean that my Patreon account will be completely free of illustration, artistic content and tutorials. Um, that's completely not the case. But I thought this kind of videos might be useful and helpful to all the people that um, just enjoy hanging out there and whose support I appreciate so so much. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed working on these pages. I make weekly videos, so subscribe not to miss any new ones. Uh, thank you a lot for staying till the end with me and talk to you soon!